Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're in Europe today, a home to Rangers. We beat them in the last Europa League match and we've just come off a 4-0 win at home in the league. So let's hope we can keep this run going. And in terms of the starting lineup today, our back five is our first choice players. Herrera is sitting in defensive midfielder role. Cousins, who's been having a very, very good season as well, playing in there. Harrington is on and up, so we're going to bring him in. That does coincide with Fabio Vieira being on a, a down, unfortunately. But that's good timing. We'll give Harrington a go in his probably his favourite position. Mudrik playing on the left with Xerxes up top. And we've brought in Bajer on the right. Thought about playing Ruben Castro again. He's on good form. Give him a bit of rest. If we need him, we're going to bring him on. Carlos Perez will probably come on. We've got the youngster, Danny Garcia, who's been brought up from the youth squad. He's actually a regen. He's sitting in there. He might get a little bit of game time. He's going on loan in January. Another three points is a must. At home at the Rosaleda in Europe at night time. Looks absolutely fantastic. The only loss we've had this season was in the Europa League against FC Midland. But when a rich vein of form, lots of goals being scored. And we're deserving it as well. You know, that we're scoring three, four, six goals in one match. Um, and even then it looks like we could score even more. <sighs> that could have been a free kick, but we played on. First chance within, well... Two minutes. Of course, Rangers will be looking for a range in this match. Got to be careful here. Good defending in the end. That was dangerous. Well, I don't know why he punched it. Really don't. Chance for a counter here though. Bajer on the run. Here's Xerxes. Ah, oh, he just slipped over at the last second. Just lost balance. It was just the ball was just a little bit getting away from him. I am thinking more and more that Casho could end up being our number one centre forward ahead of Xerxes. That's not to say Xerxes he's not going to play a lot of matches because he's still well because of the rotation, but that was a poor pass. And it, the uh, first choice fullbacks are back in as well, Emerson and Backer. Emerson's there, uh, well, he's given the ball away there, but I was just about to say, Emerson's such a threat going forward. Backer's a little bit more dependable defensively, although he does get forward as well now and again, and he, he can put in a decent ball. But Emerson's more like another winger at times. Good tackle there. Michelle can get Xerxes in, but again, Xerxes is not holding up the ball. You know, I can... No players are perfect. He's very young, Xerxes, as well, and he's done an amazing job. He's had such a great season in his in his first one last time but there are faults with his game he's not the quickest so when you put him through like that hang on Mudrick's on the overlap here Mudrick ah it's not a great first touch a little bit sloppy so far we've gotten some good positions and it, it it's actually been mainly just poor touches um I'm not being strong enough. That have stopped us getting shots on on goal. Kusan's very classy player. Nice if you back at. Sixty. Ah, unlucky there. Nice ball. Don't know how Zerxi didn't get that um, header in on goal. And then Bajer just it sort of hit him. Couldn't get the shot away. Good 
Good tackle there. Six years away this time. Nice ball to Mudrick. Good save. Maybe could have took a little bit closer. The pass wasn't the best from Xerxes. It was a little bit short. Yeah. What a ball that was from Cousins. And so you can see, fouls the defender. He's just trying to be a little bit too eager there, getting the ball. Well, trying to get a shot away. They would be in the better of the team, but they've, they've put some good passes together in midfield when they've got the chance. They look like they could be dangerous. I'm not foul. No. Harrington hasn't been in the involved that much really. Nice play. That's a poor ball from Harrington though. Telegraph the pass really. Nearly deflected in there. They look dangerous when they stop. When they actually get on the ball in that midfield area, they're putting some nice passes together, and uh, I'm struggling to stop them. Well defended there. Good play from Xerxes. and there it is. Half time, nil nil. Tough match so far. Possession were actually slightly under the opposition. More chances were definitely created. Again, they do look like they could create a few more in the second half. This is more like our performances um, towards the beginning of the season where, you know, we were marginally better from the opposition. Or a little, you know, a fair bit better. Um... Not really creating a mass amount of what you would call clear-cut chances. Um, yes, getting in decent areas. But keep this had to make maybe make one decent save. So you can see what a poor pass there. Herrera absolutely takes out the opposition. That's definitely a yellow. But um, I was just trying to stop them. <laughs> Not going to lie. Looking dangerous, I thought. I'm either going to take them out or I'm going to get the ball. Either way, I want to stop them. Got to be careful now, though. Nice tackle from Bajer. He hasn't really been in the game much. Somehow they get the ball back. Sounds for a nice ball, but how Mudrik is so quick. How can he not get on that ball? The speed on this game does not make any sense. Nice header from Mudrik there. A little bit unlucky. And again, it's one of those games where they're definitely getting the, all the bounces. Um, Mudrik, Xerxes, 1 0. Finally put together some good passes, quick passes, one touch. That's what we need to do. That's what we're best at. Nice tackle there. Kusan's lovely little ball. Mudrik with the sort of flick flick round and Zerk see with a tidy finish. Again, outside of the pass. Outside of the foot pass from Kusan's absolutely lovely. 
I think it was it the last match or the one before he played a world class pass through to Xerxes who scored. Um, love to see that one again, but one of my favourite passes of uh, if this Master League series as a whole. It was just such a fantastic ball. I missed him with a good tackle there. And now it's on Rangers to do something. And oh, that's a poor pass. We're putting some sloppy balls, I've got to say. Rodrik. Oh, wide. Well, we'll make some subs now. I expected that to rustle in the back of the net. Even when Mudrik's not on the best of form, when he gets into that area, it normally goes in the back of the net. We're going to bring on Carlos Perez for Bajer, who's been a little bit absent in this game. Ruben Castro for Zixi up top. And we are going to bring the youngster, Danny Garcia, just to give Herrera a rest. And he is on that yellow. We don't want him getting sent off. I thought about bringing on Mariba, but again, he needs a little bit of a rest. I could have brought him on, but yeah, let's just give the youngster a go. We've got so many matches up and coming and um, want our best players to be fully fit where possible. You know, they're not going to play every game just the way it is. And that's why we've got a little bit more squad depth this season. Last season, it was pretty much we had a start on 11 and then maybe two or three players that could, you could say, that were good or decent. And then a couple of other players who were just sort of fillers really and just numbers we've now got quality um off the bench in multiple positions got people fighting over places which is brilliant to have what a pass that nearly was good ball keeping in the end spotted that early nicely played there Danny Garcia gets it back. Darton forward. Ah, oh, I don't know why Castro stopped his run. Cousins just didn't quite make it. And considering Harrington's on a an upward blue condition, he's not done anything in this game really. Lovely ball through to Castro. And he gets the goal. Unfortunately, Perez didn't get the assist because Castro actually lost it. I don't know. The uh, the defender seemed to almost like teleport. If you watch the pass here, look, he's way ahead of him, way ahead of him. And then, whoop, suddenly teleports. Um, Castro gets it back and slots it away. So, nice goal. Unfortunately, Perez doesn't get the assist. It's this rubber banding thing about speed. I just, I don't get it. Look, he's well ahead, well ahead. Then, whoop, gets it. We'll get a bit of luck that we deserve. At a 2 nil. So, it's looking a little bit more comfortable now. And again, Castro just, he makes such a difference. He has got that speed and strength that maybe Xerxes doesn't have. He's got the finishing as well. He's got the link-up play. He's got it all. Um... And again, I I just thought he was going to be one for the future. I really didn't think. I thought he might get the odd game coming off the bench. Um, just out there. I mean, to the point when, when I signed him, I think, well, maybe I'll just put him out on loan. Um, but then I did remember how much I used to love playing with him in the team on previous Pez games as we gen. And I thought, even if he just gets the odd sub, uh, sub appearance and then the odd start, maybe in matches that don't matter as much or against lower opposition. Good save. Too busy talking here. Schubert with a really good save. Want to keep that clean sheet. Pl 
plus if they did score with, you know, five or six minutes left. It, <laughs> it's not the question that they could get another one. That's well over. Don't need a replay of that. I wish you could adjust the replays. You know, getting a replay on every single foul, even if it's like a, a you know, really inconsequential foul in the middle of the pitch and shots that are well over, things like that. Um, I wish you could change it a little bit. It's a shocking challenge. Why have I not got a free kick? That could have cost us there. It didn't luckily. Terrible refereeing. Oh, what a cheeky finish that would have been. Carlos Perez just flicked it and it didn't go in. The keeper did a, a decent save. But 2 0. Another Europa League win. We did suffer a defeat earlier on in the season in this uh, competition, but we're back on track now. Yeah, again, Rangers just edged the possession and they looked pretty decent in midfield. I think they were the strong of the teams in, in actual midfield position, but we created the chances. We scored 2 0. was definitely a fair result. Ratings-wise, Xerxes get him out of the match. You wouldn't say no to that. Mudrik played well. Harrington getting 6.5. I don't think he deserved that. He was pretty absent. And Kusan's only got a 6 and he was definitely the better player. Ruben Castro, yeah, look at that. 7 coming off the bench. He was brilliant. And it's nice to see the youngster Danny Garcia putting a few good passes coming on. But that's it for today, guys. The next match is going to be away to Mallorca. And then there's a little bit of a gap. Chance to rest some tired legs with a few more league matches coming in towards the middle and end of November. Thank you for joining again today. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. It's mainly pairs that I play, but there will be a few other games on there. Been playing the Resident Evil 4, the old version. Probably play the remake as well. Been playing the likes of PGA Tour 2K23. Looking forward to seeing what the EA Golf game's like. Thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.